Hello, and hopefully welcome back. In my previous videos, I've shown you how to create a spreadsheet that will calculate fret positions for any given scale length. This spreadsheet will calculate scale lengths for a multi-scale guitar. And not only that, but has the option of letting you decide which fret you want to be perpendicular to the fingerboard. It's quite a complicated spreadsheet, so this will either be your next big challenge, or the point where you say, forget it, I'll just start copying numbers out of books. It's all based around a zero line. All of the measurements you see on here are all measured from a zero line. So the first thing you need to do is to get the wood for your fingerboard and put on a position for the nut. And all the measurements are taken from that zero. Something else you'll notice is that the long scale does not change. The short scale is the one that slides up and down. You can imagine the short scale here being attached to a piece of paper and the frets joining them together. So as I slide this piece of paper up and down, the frets move in line with it. I'll demonstrate that. So if you simply watch this side of the fretboard, you'll see that the distances don't change, but the absolute locations do go slide off to the right. and so on. So when you see on scale 1, the 710, 0, that's where the nut begins. And the first fret is at 39.8 millimeters here. However, on the shorter scale, the nut begins at 40 millimeters. So you'd measure from your zero line, 40 millimeters. And then your first fret begins at 75.4 millimeters, and so on. You're also going to need to know how to use the VLOOKUP function, so we'll very briefly show you what that does. I'm going to type in the number 5 in here, and I'm going to look up the contents of these columns based upon what I find here. Equals VLOOKUP. So look up. Look up what? Look up the number 5. What do I look up? I want you to find the number 5 in the leftmost column of this set of data. Comma. What do I return? Return the data that you find in the first column. Close brackets. And unsurprisingly, it finds the number 5 and returns the value 5. However, if I change this column number to column 2, it will return the, vol the value it finds in the second column along. Column 2, fret 5. Column 2, fret 5. And if I change this to, say, number 7, column 2, fret 7. Column 2, fret 7. And I can, if I want, move this out to column 3. Column 3, fret 7. Column 3, fret 7. And we're going to be using that in a couple of minutes. The first stage is just to lay out some of the layout you've got here, which I've already done in advance. So if you want to copy this spreadsheet, I suggest you stop the video here and put your numbers in the way you see them on the screen here. I'm starting at cell H for no good reason other than I need to put the data somewhere. Once you've done that, you need to start calculating the scales. At this point, I'd recommend watching my second video if you haven't already seen it, because I use the same formula here as I used in that. Equals I3. And I'm going to alter that slightly to breed I$3, so that the cell reference is locked but only going down, not going across. 
asterisk open brackets one minus one slash two to the power of that's the shift f6 on an English keyboard open brackets page five and again I'm going to edit that very slightly and I'm going to make that dollar h5 slash 12 close brackets close brackets double click and I have my scale lengths we'll delete the value there it doesn't matter at the moment I now highlight all of these values control C to copy place it into scale 2 and control V to paste so you'll notice this calculation refers to the 710 millimeters and fret 3. This calculation refers to 630 millimeters and fret 3. Unfortunately, at the moment, these both start at 0, which is the equivalent of this, which we don't want. We want our offset here. And we create that by working out the difference at fret 12 and adding it to scale 2. Equals that minus that. So there's 40 millimeters difference between the long scale and the short scale. So we simply add 40 millimeters to all of our measurements on scale 2. Equals that plus 40 copy that down to the bottom and you can see 40 75.4 108 .7, 40 75.4 108.7 but that's not a lookup to create the lookup we first of all need a set of values to reference so I'm going to copy the fret positions and paste them into here that was control C and control V then I need the differences equals the long scale length minus the short scale length. Again, double click on the little square, reduce the number of decimal places. And now I need to look up these various values. So I'll choose fret 12 equals V lookup fret 12 in this set of data here comma return the value that you find in column 2 close brackets and that correctly returns the value 40 millimeters if I choose this being say fret 3 it gives me 12.7 millimeters 13 millimeters I'll add an extra decimal to that 12.7 millimeters fret 2 8.7 8.7 and I'll take off one decimal from that all I now need to do is add this value to these values so I'll make that fret 12 and we'll add 40 millimeters to everything equals 40 millimeters f4 to lock that cell plus my scale 2 40 millimeters. Copy that down to the bottom. 40, 75, 75.4, 108.7. 40, 75, 108.7. So it works. The rest of this is simply moving things around because this at the moment looks a mess. It's not clear what anything refers to. So I'm going to take these values here and go control X, which is cut and place them next door. Control V. Now I've got my scale one and my scale two, which are these values here. I'm going to move all of this lot, including down to the bridge, control X. And I'm going to put that in cell A1. Control V. We're very nearly there. 
the problem we've got right now is that the bridge moves. As you can see on here, if I change the fret that's parallel, the bridge location here changes, but only on the short scale side. So on the long scale side, my bridge is going to be at 710 millimeters equals scale length. On the short scale side, my bridge is going to end at the scale length plus the offset. So we go down to the cell C30 and put in equals 630 millimeters, the scale length plus the offset, 40 millimeters. And that tells me that my bridge, in this case, finishes at 670 millimeters. If I use a different fret, say fret 7, the position of the bridge changes. And that's pretty much it. All that's left is maybe a little bit of formatting if you want. I like to highlight fret 12 to let me know where it is. That's pretty much it. The only thing that's different now, other than this graph, is the fact that I've got a little drop down box here, which is not important, but I find quite cute. So I'll show you how to do that. In LibreOffice, it's called data validity, whereas in Excel, it's called data validation, but they're both, I believe, in the data tab. So data validity. And I'm going to change this from all values to a cell range. And in this cell range, I'm going to select the cells that represent the fret number by holding down the right mouse button. I don't need the bridge. I OK that. And I now have a drop down box. So I can choose fret 15 to be perpendicular or fret 7 to be perpendicular, or back to fret 12 to be perpendicular. One multi-scale fret calculator. Thanks for watching.